What did he say, twin? And Simon Peter answered and said, What did Simon Peter say? Thou art the Christ. Stop a moment. Thou art the Christ. Amen. Thou art the Messiah. Thou art the anointed one. That's Be right. Because that's who the Christ is. That's right. He's the Messiah or the no anointed one. Amen. Listen to what I'm about to say. God the Father can't be Jesus Christ. Because Christ means the anointed one. If God the Father is the anointed one, who anointed him? Who anointed the Father? Whoever anointed the Father is greater than the Father. There's none greater than the Father. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is the Christ because he was anointed by the Father. And Jesus made the statement, my father is greater than I. Nobody's greater than the father. He can't be the Christ. He can't be anointed by no one. He do the anointing. That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 All men got to do is hear what they're saying. Jesus Christ is God the father. Jesus Christ is the Messiah, the anointed one that was anointed by the Father. Yes, that stuff makes no sense. Not when you know the Bible. Yeah. Not when you just going by men's mouth. Amen, Bishop. But when you know the Bible, Amen. that's a lie, Bishop. Amen. That's Do you understand? Here, Murray pointed out that Jesus Christ is the Messiah, the Anointed One, anointed by God the Father who is greater than Jesus Christ. He also pointed out that Jesus Christ is not the Father and vice versa. No explanation on any of the titles he addressed. Gino has five important points to make here. Jesus Christ has dual nature, the flesh nature which is the Son of God and the spirit nature which is God the Father himself, the one who dwell in the Son. Gino also pointed out that the Son of God is not the Father and vice versa, but Gino pointed out that the title Jesus Christ is the Father. Let's us examine whose teaching is truly inspired by God. The following clips, Gino explained the two natures of Jesus Christ and explained why the title Jesus Christ is God the Father. That's right. All right, go back to the book of John so I can knock off. Now, the nature of the Father is spirit. Spirit. The spirit of God is the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost is the comforter. That's right. And the comforter is the power of God or the presence of God that come within us to keep us from falling. That's right. That it may present us faultless before the presence of his glory. And don't force its will upon us. No. We have to give in to the will of the Holy Ghost. And by giving in to the will of the Holy Ghost, we have to give in to the will of the Holy Word. That's right. So I said, well, how do I obey the spirit? Do I wait till God talk? You obey the spirit by obeying scripture. The word. Jesus said, the words that I speak unto you, they. They are spirit. They are spirit. And they are life. They are life. So that's how you obey God. That's how you obey the spirit. Right. You ain't got to wait for the little bird to land right. on, your, on your window. Or wait for voices to hear you at night telling you, wake up. That's right. Wake up. No, 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 you ain't got to hear that. You to do that. No, no, no. That's right. God talks through here. The words. Have both Father and the Son. And Son. Now hold it. First chapter of the book of Luke real quickly now. Yes. Let's see when he was born. First chapter of the book of Romans. Begin at verse 1 also. Give me Luke first. Give me Luke first. Let's get his birth. And let's get what he consists of. In the book of Luke chapter 1. And then from there, give him the book of Hebrews. Right. I want to see he coming out of the stock of Abraham. That's right. And, all right. In the book of St. Luke chapter 1, we'll start at verse 31. Now let's get the nature of the Son. I show you. I already showed you how you have the Father. Father is the Spirit. Father is the Holy Ghost. Father is the title of Jesus. That's right. Yeah. Father is the creating title of Jesus. That's right. It shows you his title as creator. Father. But what you the father of? Everything. Everything. <laughs> Prophecy, have we not all one father? Right. Have not one God created us? Yes. He's the father. That's right. The husband man. The boss. The boss. He's the boss. That's right. He's the real Godfather. <laughs> That's right. He's the real Godfather. That's right. 
That's right. Huh? That's right. What is it, son? In the book of St. Luke, chapter 1, we're at verse 31. All right, let's get the nature of the son. Everybody all right? Oh, yeah. All right. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. I want you gremlins that have logged on and say, you see that? He's trying to make it one. It says both, both, both. That means two gods. Come to Pastor Jenner and tell me that. I take both of your tongues if you got them. That's right. I make you lick Old Testament all the way to new. All the way to new. There's one God. One God. And when he came in the flesh, it was two natures. That's it. Both father and the son yeah. is two natures. That's it. One is terrestrial. One is celestial. Yeah. One is human. One is divine. That's right. One is mortal. One is immortal. One is immortal. That's all that is. That's it. The father, immortal. Father, celestial. Father, everlasting. Father, divine. Father, perpetual. Father, no beginning. Father, no ending. Father, always was. Father, always will be. That's right. Son, begotten. Son, birthday. Son, born. Son, flesh. Son, man. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. Human and divine. And divine. That's right. Just look at yourself, you that have the Holy Ghost. You're filled with something divine. But where is it located? In a human. In a human. And now the human is required to live by the divine that's in it. That's right. Glory oh, to God. And behold, behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. Now we're going to get the nature. Yes. Thou shalt conceive in thy womb. And bring forth a son. Bring forth the son. Hold uh, it. Mm -hmm. Bring forth the son. Bring forth the body. That's right. A lot of these infidels say every time you talk about the son, you talk about a body. A body, 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 body. That's right. That's right. How do you know your wife had a son or a daughter? You're infidel. You're infidel. You ain't looking at the spirit. You're looking at the body. That's right. You check the anatomy. Get the leg holding upside down. Oh, there are. It's either son or daughter. Right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Yes. If the child come out not crying, and that doctor smack it, he ain't smacking the spirit. You're infidel. No. You're smacking a child, either boy or girl. That's right. Glory to God. I want to make it so plain that a fool don't have no excuse of being a fool. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. Thou shalt conceive in thy womb. And bring forth a son. Bring forth a son. Bring forth the human being. And shalt call his name Jesus. Yes. Thou shalt call his name Jesus. Jesus. He shall be great. He shall be great. And shall be called the son. Of what? Of the highest. Oh. Mm. Son of the highest, meaning he shall be called the son of God. That's right. Showing you there's something higher than that nature That's right. of flesh. That's right. Highest. When you say highest, you can't go above that. No. You can't go above the highest. The highest. The highest is, is, is you just can't get higher you than can't that. can't get higher than that. So the flesh was called son of the highest. Highest. He consists of flesh and blood. Give me Romans now. Romans chapter 1 and read verse 3. Parliament. Concerning his son. Wait, 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 wait. Mm. We got his birth. Mm. Let's see what he consists of. Romans chapter 1 and that verse 3. All right. Concerning his then son. then that, give me Leviticus. Yeah. The life of all flesh. Right. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. All right. <laughs> Romans chapter 1 and that verse 3. What is it? Concerning his son. Concerning his son. Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus Christ our Lord. Which was made. Hold it! They ain't talking about the spirit. No way. That ain't the spirit ain't never was made. No. Spirit don't have no maker. That's right. The spirit is the maker. That's right. But the Son of God was made. Was made. Uh -huh. Which was made of the seed of David. He was made of the seed of David according to what? According to the flesh. No, he's the seed of David according to the spirit. According to the flesh. He was of the seed of David according to the spirit. Which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. How? What else? And, de and, de and declared to be the Son of God. Declared to be the Son of God. With power. With what? With power. Where did he get that power from? According to the spirit of holiness. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. According to what? According to the spirit of holiness. Jesus Christ, the son of God, is the Christ because he was anointed by the father. 
And Jesus made the statement, my father is greater than I. Nobody's greater than the father. He can't be the Christ. He can't be anointed by no one. He do the anointing. That's right. Here, Murray identified Jesus Christ as the son of God. He wrongly divided Jesus Christ from the son of God. Making Jesus Christ is the same being as the Son of God and vice versa. Basically, he did not grasp the mystery of Jesus Christ and the Son of God, whereas Gino grasped both Jesus Christ and the Son of God as explained previously. The following clip Gino explains what greater than I meant and explained those titles where Murray left off previously. Gino distinguishes Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Son of God, the Son of Man, and the Spirit of God. But when he said, my father is greater than I, Jesus, son of man, meaning son of David, Jesus, son of God, meaning servant of God, not that God came down and lay with a woman. Because all of us are the sons of God. Amen. Amen. That's right. All of us. All of us. Because God is our Father. Amen. Right. And God created us all. That's right. That body of the Messiah, the flesh and blood, was lesser in nature. Amen. Than the Spirit of God that was in it. In right. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, five, the book teaches us to wit God was, was in, in in Christ. Christ. That's right. Reconciling the world unto himself. Unto himself. So that flesh, you Catholics say Mary was the mother of God. God don't have no mother. God is without father because God is father. That's right. God is not begotten. Mm -hmm. God always was. God always has been. God always will be. Will be. Always will be. There is no beginning to God. That's right. God is eternal. God is everlasting. That's right. Amen. God is without father. God is without Amen. mother. God is without descent. That's right. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. For the prophet looked at God and said, God is not a man that he should lie. That's right. Neither is he the son of man that he should repent. Amen. So that flesh and blood that bared the title Messiah, God was in him. Amen. Then that flesh and blood took on God's name and God's title. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Amen. That's what that was. Amen. So yes, the spirit is greater than the flesh. It always has been. It always will be. If you take note, when Jabril or Gabriel talked to Mary, he addressed the Messiah and said, he shall be called the son of the highest. Ah, yes. Showing that the spirit or the father or the creator, its nature is greater than flesh and blood. That's right. That's right. Amen. What did the Bible say, son? And Simon Peter answered and said. Simon Peter answered and said, what? Thou art the Christ. Thou art the Christ. The son of the living God. You're the son of the living. Son of the who, son? The living God. So, so that's a living God. And you his son. That's a living God. And you are his son. It says. What did it say, son? Thou art the Christ. Thou art the Christ. The son of the living God. You're the son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Oh, let's see what Jesus is going to say. No, uh, 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 you can't say that, Peter. That's two gods. Blessed art thou. Did he say blessed art thou? Blessed. You, you mean after he said thou art the Christ, the son of the living God? Then he followed it up by saying blessed art thou. Amen. If Jesus Christ is not the father and the father is greater than Jesus Christ, what makes the son of the living God then? Murray couldn't explain who the son of the living God was. Nor did he can explain who Jesus Christ is. All he did was quoting what the scripture already had said. Let us examine further if Gino can explain more thoroughly concerning these titles. Listen to what I'm about to say. God the Father can't be Jesus Christ. God the Father can't be Jesus Christ. God the Father can't be Jesus Christ. Nobody's greater than the Father. Nobody's greater than the Father. 
He can't be the Christ. He can't be the Christ. Murray have unable to explain the title Father, Son, Son of Man, Jesus, and Christ. His knowledge in distinguish those titles is limited. Is God was God son? No. No. Come on and get me preachers. That's right. God was not a son? No. God ain't got a mother. God's body was a son. That's right. God was the father of that son. That's right. God was in the Son, and the Son was made by God. And then the God of that Son, which created that Son, gave the Son his name. So the world will know who made the Son. That's why the Son said, I come in my Father's name. I know that's too deep for you, Bishop. Son of God was flesh. Let me show you the Son of God titles. Son of God was flesh. Son of God was man. Son of God was begotten. Son of God was Mary's baby. Son of God was a thing. A holy thing. In fact, the Son of God was lower in nature than God. The Bible's, in fact, he was lower in nature than the angels. God is called highest. The son is called son of the highest. Showing you that the spirit is higher or greater or superior than the body. Right. The body said, I do nothing of myself. But as my father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the work. So God was not a son. No, no, no. God's body was a son. And God was in that son and used the son to redeem you. As you can see, Gino is very solid in his understanding of the scripture concerning Jesus, Christ, the son of God, the son of man, the spirit of God, and the father. He break down everything without a doubt just for everyone to understand. Only a person called by God and anointed by God can preach these kind of revelations. Gino Jennings' teaching is truly inspired by God. What's on YouTube? But mm -hmm. some man will say. What's on YouTube? Some man will say. Son of God did not start by God at Mary's womb. No, sir. No, sir. You hear what I say? The Son of God was before Mary. You hear what I just said? I said the Son of God was before Mary. Mary only broke the flesh. But there was something here before the flesh. I want you to hear me talking now. The Son of God was before Mary. Womb to the tomb is a lie. What did the word of God call him? Thou fool. 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 That's right. Fool. You out there is upset because I said he was the Son of God from womb to cross. Right. But what do I mean? That's right. All right, let me show you what part of him was the son. Mm -hmm. Mark 15, 39. Mark 15, 39. Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's, right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. I want to show you what part of him was the son. Mark 15. And after you get Mark 15, 39, mm -hmm. I want to show you what made the son function in Romans chapter 1 and verse 3. That's right. Come on, son. Mark 15 and verse 39. Get this. And when the centurion, and when which, the stood centurion over him, which stood over against him, saw that he so cried saw out. Saw that he so cried out. And gave up the ghost. And gave up the ghost. He said, truly. He said, truly. This man. This what? Man. This man. This what? This man. This man was 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 what? The son of God. The man. The man. Sir. The man. Was the son of God. Now, Moses said, "The life of all flesh lieth in the blood." In the blood. In the blood. That's right. He was only a man with natural life. That's it. From birth to cross. That's, That's it. Right. When they pierced him in the side. Came his natural life right. that ended the natural life that makes him a relative of the human race at the cross. That's right. If blood would have came back into him, he would now be related to David's house. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. How I say, well, the Son of God rose now with natural life. No, no. My father is dead, been dead for 18 years. That's right. If my father come back from the grave, mm -hmm. that which come back will have the title, right. Dad. That's right. 
but he won't have no natural life. No, right. What do you mean? Well, no blood. That's right. So he was a human man with natural life That's right. from the womb mm -hmm. till he died. Till he died. Now, That's right. what's left of him that's got the title? That's it. That's right. Hmm? That's right. That's right. See, what's left of him got That's the right. title? That's right. You see, God manifests the title of the Son before he ever manifests himself in the flesh. That's right. When he appeared down there in the fire with the Hebrew brothers. That's right. The book never said it was the Son. No. It said the form of the fourth one is light. Like the Son. It's light. That's Why right. use the term light? Because the body that would come will be made in the likeness of sinful flesh. Sinful flesh. That's right. That's and it was the express image of him that never had a beginning that's right and never had an ending that's, that's right. right so when he went to the cross even he said it's finished, finished. That's right. finished. what finished. finished jesus what's finished that's right, right. Open up. jesus what finished that's right and i've seen this the work that he came to do with natural life that's right it had to come to an end that's right. what do you mean he had a temporary ministry that's yes he did wonderful <laughs> Not even Jesus, Go ahead, Go ahead. not even the Son of God, That's right. went into all the world That's right. and preached the gospel to every creature. No, no, he didn't. The human body didn't go into all the world. Oh no! no. So he come along and dropped the commandments in the hands of the apostles That's right. and said, "The former treaties have I made." Oh, Theophilus, oh, Theophilus of all that Jesus began both to do and to teach, Man. until the day which he was taken up. After that, he, through the Holy Ghost, had given the commandment unto the apostles apostles whom he had chose mm -hmm. and after he chose his apostles now they come along carrying his name that's right around the, world. around the world no there is no son of god in heaven with natural life with flesh and blood no no, no. Never, was, never was never had been and never will that's right but that glorified body that is in heaven that rose the third day oh, still is identified as the son yeah, that's of right. god that's, that's right why the book said you shall be known as, as we are known. known that's right Amen. Hmm? Amen. My God, you see the body that shall be. Mary didn't birth the body that shall be. No, no, hmm? no, 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 no. Mary didn't birth That's right. That's right. the stalk. That's right. Thou fool. Mary birthed the grain. That's right. The grain. Huh? That's right. I said the Son of God was before Mary. Mary only birthed the flesh. Murray did not grasp the title Son of God, nor did he grasp the title Jesus Christ. But there was something here before the flesh. I want you to hear me talking now. The Son of God was before Mary. Room to the tomb is a lie. Amen. When you don't know that, Paul call you thou fool. Thou fool. fool. Right. Do you hear what the Apostle John said? That, as the Father, for as the Father has life, see the Father have it, has life. And as you know, He's eternal, right? Perpetual. That's right. The Father have life where in Himself. In Himself. So has He given you to see, the Son <laughs> for the Son to exist. Amen. For Him to exist. So has He given to the Son. The eternal Creator give the Son to have life. To have life in Himself. Where he gave it to him. That's right. What did the father give him? Blood. Blood. Hmm? That's right. The father gave him blood. Where is it at in the scripture? Because he's the creator of all things. That's right. That's where it is. That's, That's right. right. Huh? That's he's right. the creator of all things. Everything that the son consists of, God gave it to him. Amen. That's God right. come along and formed that body. And that body was working clothes for Jehovah to work in. Go ahead. Because God had a dirty job. He had to redeem that stubborn, hard-haired, rebellious, stiff-necked man. That's right. And he couldn't redeem man the way he was because he was eternal and perpetual. But Jesus so he stopped that David the house and got into the wound of the woman and put on a cloak and called it flesh and dressed himself up in clothes of flesh and then he come along and took on the same name of the spirit that made him it's like a tailor that's right. when a tailor make a suit he put his name in it that's right so he can get the credit while you're wearing it that's, that's right. right that's right when someone open up and see a line and oh you got pierre cardin amen why it's his work that's right, right. That's huh? That's right. That flesh and blood that Jesus had. That's right. That was Jesus' work. And That's being right. found in fashion. Listen at this. In Philippians Wonderful. chapter 2, when we'll begin at verse 6. When you ran up on him, how did you discover him? And who being in the form of God. Who being in the form of God? But not when wondering. you ran up on Jesus, how did you discover him? In the form of God. That's right. God's form was God's image. That's right. God image was God fashion. That's right. God fashion was God figure. Amen. God figure was God similitude. That's right. And when God made that similitude, he just stepped in it and did a temporary work. That's what the he did. work of that body was not an eternal work because oh, no. the son of man is not immortal that's right but there was something here before the flesh but there was something here before the flesh but there was something here before the flesh 
I say the Son of Man is not mm -hmm. That's right. immortal. That's right. The Son of Man Natural. is mortal. Yeah. But the identity of the Son of Man That's is right. immortal. Yeah. That's why Jesus said, Father, That's right. glory, glorify thou me. Thou me. How you want it done? Mm -hmm. I want it done with thine own self. Thine own That's right. self. That's right. Don't use nothing else. That's and right. and don't use nobody else. That's right. That's right. Glorify thy That's me. That's right. How do you want it? Smaller. With thine own self. With thine own self. With the glory Which I had that I had with thee. Had with thee. Before the world. Before the world. the world was. That's right. So the question is. What was the Son of God That's right. before the world was? That's right. He was in nothing, nothing but a thought. That's right. He was a thought. Mind of God. Yeah. That's right. Mind of God. That's right. That's what true. was the Son of God? Amen. That's right. Before the world was. That's, That's right. right. Just a thought. Just a thought. A predestinated right. thought. In First right. Peter chapter one. First Peter one eighteen. At verse eighteen. Come on, son. Well, as much as you know that Jesus you were not redeemed. Pray. Pray. Hallelujah. Say, Father, glorify thy me with thine own self. Thine own self. With the glory I have with thee before, before the, world, the world, world was. That's right. That's right. Mary was before the world was. No, sir. Oh, no. That's right. So flesh and blood wasn't there. That's right. Son of God wasn't there. Son of God wasn't there before the world was. A, a man. A man. There's no man in heaven. No man. There was no man there with flesh and blood. That's right. But it was a man. In God's mind. That's right. He was a predestinated man. That's right. Huh? That's right. See, all this was just a, a, a scheme that God worked up to give him a reason. Yes, sir. To the redeemed man. That's true. Let me show you this. Come on, son. Go to work in the book of Peter. For as much as you know that you were not redeemed, God, you bear with me a little while. Oh, Dan, I, you bear with me. Paul said, bury me a little while in my father. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, take it. Go ahead. Come on, son. For as much as you know. As much as you know. That you were not redeemed you with were corruptible not, things. You wasn't redeemed with corruptible things. As silver and gold. Like you prosperity preachers. That's right. right. You got these folks thinking money going to get you in. That's right. That's no redemption in That's that right. stuff. That's right. You're not redeemed with that. That's, That's right. right. But how? Not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold. But what? From your vain conversation received by tradition from your father. But what? But with the precious blood of Christ. Christ, and as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. How? Who verily was foreordained. He was foreordained. Before. What? Before. Before what? The foundation of the world. He was a predestinated thought. That's, That's right. right. Perfect man. Sir. That's right. Hmm? So, verily was foreordained. Was foreordained. Before right. the foundation right. of the world. Only God's mind. That's now right. get this. Amen. If it was ordained of God for sin to be taken out of the world. Amen. It was ordained of God for sin to come in the world. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. God ordained me a Messiah that's right. to take something out that's not here. Amen. So even the devil that's right. was predestinated. That's right. Adam's failure that's right. was ordained of God. Ordained of God. Without Adam's failure, that's right. no second Adam. That's, that's right. right. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's there ain't no second Adam. That's right. You see how the things work? That's right. Predestinated. Predestinated. Oh, dang, all Before in the God's mind. The it was in the mind of God. And he spoke his mind That's right. and used the prophet to talk about his thoughts. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. And the supper shall not depart from Judah, nor a law given from between his feet. Until Shiloh coming unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Binding his foe to the vines, ashes coat to the choice vine. He come along and washes his garment in the wine and the clothes in the blood of the grape. What was he doing? Go ahead. Thinking. 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 That's, That's right. right. Counseling within his own will. That's right. He working all things, all things after the counsel, after the counsel of, his of his own will. That's right. Huh? That's in, right. Order, right. in order to redeem man, I can't redeem man from something he never fell from. That's right. I can't redeem man from something he didn't fall. For right. he created all so things. So it was a plan. Go ahead. The word of God says what? In the wisdom of Solomon chapter 1 and verse 14. He created all things. All things. That they might have their being. That they might have their being. And the generations of the world. The generations were of the world. Were helpful. Were helpful. And there is no poison of destruction in them. What else? Nor the kingdom of death upon the earth. And and for righteousness, righteousness is immortal. That's right. Righteousness. Righteousness. Remember last time. Is immortal. Is immortal. Is in righteousness. Go ahead. God had a righteous thought. Yes, That's right. right. An eternal, immortal thought. That's right. About something that would be temporary. Yes, sir. For the word said, Go those ahead. things that are seen are temporal. Are temporal. But that which is not, not seen, seen is eternal. eternal. That's, That's right. right. Go ahead, brother. Beautiful. There is no son of God with no. flesh and blood. No, no. But that glorified body has the title. Has the title. Right. And same identity. That's right. That's it. Hmm? That's it, sir. When you talk about God, you better know what you're talking. That's right. 